What's going on guys, my name is Embrace the Pace and today I'm going to be giving you a little bit of an overview on my 2017 draft class for NBA 2K17 on the PS4. I haven't gotten around to making a release video for this, but if you guys follow me on Twitter, you will know this did release on Friday, uh, October 7th, so five days ago, and it's already up to 8,000 downloads just about, so thank you guys so much for downloading this thing right when it comes out. It's important to get these downloads pretty quickly so it can get on the most popular list and uh, people can find the draft class without having to search for it. And right now with almost 8,000 downloads, it'll be right around here for you guys. If you're downloading this in the future or watching this video in the future, uh, you know, it'll be moving up the list pretty quickly, I'd assume. So um, thank you guys for everybody that's downloaded it. We'll go ahead and give a quick little update. But if you guys do want to search for the gamer tag or you want to see what it's called, there it is right there. 2017 with accurate faces plus ratings the online id is embrace the pace so we'll go ahead and jump into it if you're new to my draft classes i'm just going to give you guys a little bit of information on what you can expect i've been doing this since 2k15 uh, i truly believe that this draft class right here is the best one that i've done i've said this last year as well but man it's just so crazy how much um the classes have improved since i started in 2k15 you know i'm just taking steps forward uh, and this one is really, really good in my opinion. So uh, first off, it's got 60 players in it. More will be added throughout the year. That's one thing that I really focus on doing. I want to keep this thing updated. This draft class that you're seeing right here is as of October 12th, 2016. So um, if you're watching this in the future, the draft class has changed. I update this thing pretty frequently. More players will be added, ratings will be changed, accessories will be changed, hairstyles will be changed, um, just lots of things are going to be altered to keep this thing as updated as possible. Um, but as I said, 60 guys in it right now. Uh, some guys that you'll look through this list right here, I'm just going to scroll through all the players. You can go to my Twitter if you want to see like a laid out list of everybody that's included in version 1. Um, but if you're noticing some guys are missing, that could be for two reasons. Number one. Uh, I may have just not added them in yet, and they will be added later. Uh, number two, I could actually saved some pretty solid prospects for my 2018 class. So they're going to be in version one. Uh, somebody I get asked a lot about is like Winyan Gabriel um, from Kentucky. Even though he's projected on 2016 mock drafts in some places, I decided I was going to, or 2017 mock drafts. I decided I was going to save him for 2018, so he will be in version 1 of my 2018 class, and then guys will get moved back and forth between those classes once we get towards, um, you know, April and stuff like that, but, um, so don't worry if you don't see a guy on this list or that's not included in the draft class right now, uh, he could get added in at a later date. Maybe he won't. Maybe the guy you're thinking of just really isn't on draft radars, but I'm trying to get as many guys as I can get into this class uh, as possible. So that's how I do the players. As far as the ratings go, uh, this is something I get asked about a lot as well. Um, ratings are something that are really, really controversial because people always have like a different viewpoint on different players. The way that I rate these guys is based on the positional averages of the official 2K roster. So there isn't really very much bias at all, um, you know, put into these ratings. Uh, they're based on the positional averages. So that's a little bit better, I think, than basing it off of statistics because stats can be misleading in some ways, uh, especially when you're talking about college stats um, or high school stats, even for that matter, and then translating it to the NBA three-point percentages in college are obviously going to be higher for some guys because the line is closer um, it also depends on the volume of shots they're getting the system they're playing in the level of competition uh, how they match up against you know NBA caliber athletes uh, there's a lot of different factors that go into it so ratings are never going to be perfect and people are always going to have a different viewpoint on things but I think the system that I use to rate these guys uh, is pretty accurate and you'll see the ratings that I think um, I think you can agree with a lot of these but I also base it on draft stock that's another thing in order to have realistic drafts in my league and my GM you got to kind of base the ratings off of draft stock so you don't have a guy you know that's not even projected to get drafted but he's a really good college player you don't want him to have a high rating and then he gets drafted super early and it just kind of throws off the realism so um, that's how I do ratings but as I said these ratings are going to be updated all throughout the year so the ratings you're seeing now aren't the final ratings um, and they're definitely going to be changing throughout the year um, just a few more things as far as the faces go I'll go ahead and show you guys a few faces 
really, really happy with how the faces turned out this year. This is Markel Fultz. Uh, I just keep thinking, man, if 2K17 would have added in the ability to add tattoos to creative players and change body types, these would look even better. Uh, but I'm really, really happy with how the faces turned out this year. I think the faces are the best that I've had in any draft class. There are some guys, I think one guy that I really am not a big fan of how I made right here is uh, Frank Intilakina. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce his last name, but... Um, I don't really think that looks like him too much. That's probably my weakest one uh, And I'll probably do some edits to him to try to get him looking a little better Maybe you guys disagree. It definitely doesn't look bad, but I think it could have been a lot better um, But the faces I'm definitely pretty happy with this year as far as just some miscellaneous things about the draft class that may have changed from last year um, Ages are now 100% accurate or not 100% accurate, but as accurate as you can possibly get it's a little bit tricky sometimes because uh, the ages are a little bit weird. When you do it in create a player, you can only choose an age. Like you can choose if they're 19, 20, 21, 22, um, but you can't choose their birth year. So it's a little bit weird because some guys are technically going to be 20 depending on their birthday uh, or they might be 19 if they're, you know, it's, it's kind of, I don't know. It's a little bit weird how that works. I wish they would just let you choose their birth year because then it would definitely be accurate. But I did find a little bit of a way to, you know, get those as accurate as possible. So some guys that are born in 98 and above, uh, they're not going to have accurate ages because the game doesn't even let you make anyone younger than 1997. Uh, so Markel Fultz, for example, I believe was born in 98. So he's technically going to be a year older than what he really is, but there's just no way to fix that. Um, and then for the future draft class 2018, there are going to be guys born in 98 and even 1999. So, uh, you know, that's not going to work either. The, the, the ages are just going to be slightly off with that as well. But again, there's just no way that you can even work around that. Um, another thing that comes to mind is wingspans. Wingspans are 100% accurate as well. Uh, I actually need to go through and kind of double check all those to make sure that they're accurate. Uh, I believe there's still a way in my GM and my league where you can go in and look at wingspan lengths, but uh, I may, I think I'm, I don't know if I made a video about that last year, but maybe I will this year on how you can get the wingspans accurate. So there are 100% accurate wingspans. Uh, I focused a lot on signatures this year, so signatures are looking good as far as what guys look like when they're shooting jumpers, uh, everything like that. And then just one more small detail that I'll mention is I did alter um financial security loyalty and play for winner sliders uh that's something that um you know people did were kind of asking for last year i didn't really mess with it that much because it's kind of it's kind of hard to figure that out uh, but i did come up with a little bit of a formula like right here for dennis smith jr for example um i believe he's from north carolina let me actually check but basically the way that i did this was uh yeah Dennis Smith Jr. is from North Carolina. So he committed to a North Carolina school. So I gave him a boost in loyalty for that. I gave most of these players pretty high loyalty ratings um, just because I feel like that would work better. Financial security, I just left those somewhere around 50. And then play for winner, I based on the type of school they committed to. So NC State's kind of middle of the pack. No pun intended right there. Um, but they are kind of middle of the pack. And then, you know, some guys are going to be committing to um, higher schools so like Harry Giles for example committing to Duke I think I gave him a higher play for winner um, to, just based on who he committed to so yeah 75 uh, so those have been tweaked a little bit uh, and stuff like that so that's pretty much all the detail I'm going to get into I know I got into a lot of things and it was kind of all over the place but I hope you guys got the general gist of it there's the information again if you would like to download it um, I'm going to make a video here very very soon uh, probably right after I finish this commentary on how you can import these into my league and my GM and also how you can import them mid-season so that's something a lot of people don't know about so make sure to stay around for that video it should help you out a lot thank you guys for all the support i hope you guys enjoy the draft class this year i'll talk to you guys later